Hi guys, today we're building the Tower of Hanoi game, uh, which was another suggestion from the community, and I thank you for the idea. And let's Tower Hanoi app. Let's build the boilerplate as always. And if you're not played this game, um, I'll give you the link to the Wikipedia page, which is quite thorough, I thought. Um, this also occurs as a mini game in quite a number of games, actually. Um, I remember playing this in black and white a long time ago. Um, in Dragon Age Inquisition, I think, as well. Or in one of the Dragon Age games. Return. So what do we want? Uh, we want preferred size. I don't know, 900 by 300? That gives us 300 pixels per tower. Then we need to know what our tower looks like. So we need a class for that. Uh, let's go with stack bin because we're going to stack some things. Get children, add... Um, what am I adding? Let's add... Yeah, I'm going to go for a top-down view, because that's the simplest. Um, rectangle 25. It's going to be my tower background. Um, if I set preferred size to 300 by 300, and then I need to place the tower, so I need to translate it by X and Y. And then we're going to have three towers as per usual. Um, tower offset by 300 and y, y is zero. Um, and then root children add the tower. And then that should be runnable. It should give us something. Right, so we have three towers, um, and then we need to place some circles around them. Okay, that'll do. Um, so circles, we need to add circle. And then that would add a circle to here. But according to the rules, you can add a circle only if the radius of the circle you're adding is smaller than the radius of the topmost circle that you have on the tower. So we need to obtain uh, topmost. And it's get children. The children stream. Um, I need filter first because it also contains um, the rectangle which I don't want. So node node is instance of circle. So I need circles only. Sorted um, sorted yeah node node um, get radius. Oh okay. Let's map them to circles. Um, circle, get okay, radius. What's wrong with that? Oh, yeah. I'm used to Kotlin. In Kotlin, this is so much easier. It's something along the lines of comparator, comparing uh, double then it's that and then that yeah so this is sorted by radius radius and i need to get because this is going to sort it in ascending order i need to get a little... no i can just do max right max there we go 
or min in my case. Um, uh, what's that? Oh yeah, I'm still using. Um, yeah, I'm still on Java 8 for this one. Um, that's optional. Actually, no. I can do something like or else null. I generally dislike nulls, but given this is in a tight scope, I think we'll allow it. So if topmost is null, then there are no circles, so we can just add a circle. Nothing wrong with that. Else, that means we do have a topmost circle, so we can only add if topmost circle, if the circle radius is less than that one. Right, so that's add circle. Uh, we need to say how many circles we have. Let's do three for starters. And then if i is zero, so I want to add all the circles to the first hour at the start of the game. Then for, uh, now actually we're going backwards because I want to increase the radius. So it's num circles bigger than zero minus minus um, circle and circle with radius uh, What's the size of this? 25. Uh, let's go for 30 plus j multiplied by 20. 20 is going to be the difference in um, radii. And then we don't want any fill color, but we want stroke color. Let's go with black. And tower add circle, circle. Okay, I've got three circles. Um, how do we differentiate between them? Because I think if I start moving them around, it's going to be really hard to see which one's smaller. Maybe do this, strike with. Um, yeah, just use radius as a, as a. Yeah, I think radius will do. So if I use circles radius, and then it's going to be too large. Let's scale it down by 20. It's kind of working, I think. Well, at least for three circles. I don't know if it's going to work for seven, say. Maybe. Let's go for a larger value, maybe 30. Yeah, I think that's a bit better. Um, also, 7 doesn't really fit, so I need to increase. Let's give it more space. Um, 400 by 400, that means this needs to be 400 by 3. And that's 400. Yeah, that's good enough. Oh, I need the spacing to be right as well. This 400 should probably be extracted as a variable. Um, what else? I need some kind of a interaction going on. So if I use this as a background thing, Mouse clicked. What do we want? We want to have a selected circle. Let's make it optional. Because we don't know if it's selected all the time. So that's selected circle. And since we start with nothing, it's empty. And there are two cases. If selected circle, oh, it's a static class. Yeah, so if I do this, if selected circle is present, 
then we do something else. And if it's not present, then we do, well, something else. So if it is present, then we're placing it uh, on this tower. So it's selected circle, get, and then add circle. Uh, else, we don't have a selected circle, so we need to select it, which is the topmost circle on this tower. So that should go probably into a method. Um, get top most. This becomes that. There we go. Uh, we need this thing. And so if it is present, we place it or we attempt to place it anyway. If it's not, then we select actually, isn't it just selected circle optional of nullable? Because if it is null, then it's going to be empty. That looks really nice if that's what it takes to build this thing. That looks cool. So I click on that, press on this thing itself, or I guess it does something. If I place it here, it works. So then the second one, I shouldn't be able... No, wait. Oh yeah, I need to reset the selection. So once I've placed it, selected circle is empty. So I can place it here, but I can't do second on the first one. I can place two over here. Two over here doesn't work, and one should work here. Okay, so that kind of works. Let's finish the game with three. And then we might do seven. Seven is going to be tricky. I think there is an algorithm for this. Um, in fact, I've read I've just read the Wikipedia page and it said a bunch about algorithms. So an extension for that might be um, writing one. So it auto solves it for you. So that was three. Let's see if we can do it with seven. The thing, the trick here is to aim for the big one, for the big circle to go over here. So the big one is the base, or at least I think of it as a base, and that base needs to move to wherever your goal is. Um, and it, it also has something to do with the number of circles. If it's odd, um, then you go one way. If it's even, you go the other way. That's pretty much the logic of that, more or less. And then I guess we just keep going. And then once you have the base over there, it should just work. So I think the hardest bit is making the base over to the other one. Do you move this here, there, it's here? Because you want this to be on the left, yeah. And then you can see that the base is now free. Once this has been moved over here, got five circles, but I can't remember which one to go for. We'll move here. Yeah, I think that's right.
No, I think it's the other way around. I forgot what I was doing. Yeah, so not wait. That goes here. That here. Hey, what's wrong? Why can't I move this one? Yeah. And then the rest pretty much just, fo just follows. Once you move the base over, I think the rest is easier. Okay, so that seems to be working. Um, what else we got here? Actually, I think we're pretty much done here because, you know, what else can you do? Um, we want to, well, as an extension, what you could do is make these circles really distinct because that was really hard in terms of when they're placed on different towers, they look kind of similar. Um, I think in the original, well, at least in black and white, um, in the mini game, it was in 3D, so it was much easier. You could actually feel the um, sort of radius and the entire form. You could add color, I suppose, but then that doesn't make any difference to colorblind people, so keep that in mind. Um, apart from that, oh yeah, the auto solver thing. That could be an interesting challenge to add an algorithm that um, on click of a button just automatically solves it for you. And for bonus points, make it animated as well using animation timer. And on that note, thanks for watching. And don't forget to vote on the next video in the community section.